Connecting your app to a data source allows you to build a dynamic app that can read, create, update, and delete data you have stored in Airtable, Google Sheets, Webflow, or a local table. When a data source powers your app, you can continuously update your app contents without having to republish it. Let's think of the data as the gas that fuels the app's engine. In this short video, we'll connect our directory app to a Google Sheet and read the data. Reading the data simply means we'll pull the information from a spreadsheet into our app, displaying it for our users. We'll be demonstrating this with Google Sheets, but this lesson is relevant if you're working with another data source. Follow along and complete the steps in your own Thunkable project, and by the end of this video, you'll have built the framework for an impressive first app with Thunkable. By the end of this lesson, you will be able to connect your Thunkable app to a data source, add a data viewer component to an app, and map spreadsheet columns to app fields to display data. Let's get to it. Here's the employee directory project we've been working on throughout this course. And here's a simple table in Google Sheets where our employee data is stored. A quick note about the image links within your data source. You want to ensure the images are accessible by public URL, meaning that a login isn't necessary to access them. We've uploaded our images to Cloudinary and have included the public URL in our spreadsheet. Our task is to connect our Thunkable app to this spreadsheet so that we can view the data in our app. Here on the team home screen, we will display a list of Thunkable employees. We do this using a data viewer component. There are two options available, a list or a grid. Each of these acts as a presentation layer for the data source. Let's go with list. Drag and drop the data viewer list onto the team screen and resize it. In the Data Viewer's Properties panel, click the Connect to Data Source button. If you've previously connected data sources, they will be provided as options for you, but we have a new data source to connect, so we'll click Create New. The data source we're working with is Google Sheets, but this tutorial is relevant regardless of your data source. Locate your spreadsheet and click Select. Rename the data source if you'd like, and indicate which row your column headers are in and which row is the first to contain data. Click Create. Back in the Properties panel, select your spreadsheet from the Data Source dropdown. If your spreadsheet has multiple sheets, ensure that the correct one is selected. Click where you see the words Title and Subtitle. Each of the provided templates is a design layout for how you'd like your data displayed. Let's go for the one that has an image, title, and subtitle. Now to map the spreadsheet columns to fields in the Data Viewer list template. To do this, click in each of the fields associated with the layout you chose and select from the drop-down of your column headers. Click the Web Preview button for a quick sneak peek. Looking good! Our app is being populated according to the data in our connected spreadsheet. And if we update the spreadsheets with a new row of data, our Thunkable app will update to include the new data too. This is how we create powerful data-driven apps. In the next video, how to make a Thunkable app interactive with blocks, we'll move over to the Blocks tab and make things really come alive. We'll build out the functionality of our app so that data from the spreadsheet is displayed on the employee profile screen. But first, here's a quick summary of all the things you're now able to do. Connect your Thunkable app to a data source, add a data viewer component to an app, and map spreadsheet columns to app fields to display data. Thanks for tuning in for how to connect a Thunkable app to a data source. Join us for the next and final video in the How to Build Your First Thunkable App course, How to Make a Thunkable App Interactive with Blocks. And remember, if you can think it, you can thunk it.